Thanks, Chair. Uh, there's two issues I'd, I'd like to traverse here. The first is the Life Education Program, if you're familiar with that. The van with the giraffe, most people might know it by. It yes, previously sir. received some federal funding, yes. but I understand there's been some changes. So I just wanted to go through that issue first and then return to um, National Ice Action Strategy funding and some more questions around that. Um, so life education, um, I've been advised that it has been receiving funding um, to provide classes about the dangers of illicit, illicit substances, including crystal methamphetamine. Um, is that correct? Uh, they have certainly received uh, some funding in uh, the past from both, uh, I understand, the Department of Health and the Department of Education. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But the funding that was um, provided by the Department of Health, was that allocated towards these programs directed <coughs> to children, warning them of the dangers of drugs? Uh, I do believe it was from the um, pro uh, money provided from the prevention side of things, yes. Right, OK. Um, can you confirm whether or not funding will no longer be provided by the Department of Health for life education? Uh, my understanding at this time is that um, no money has been provided okay. um, at this point. Okay. No further funding has no been provided funding. at this point. Yep. Um, do you know if, if the life education program will be replaced by a different program achieving similar means or similar ends, I'm sorry? Uh, I'm not aware, although uh, I do know of that there's many prevention uh, programs that are out there and available for uh, people in schools or teachers um, to take advantage of. Yeah. So, in fact, sorry, I might just add to that answer. Um, under the, um, the National Ice Action Strategy, funding was put to the Positive Ch Choices web portal, which is a resource for teachers, students and parents um, around drugs and alcohol. Um, so yes, there is a there is some, but not the the same sort of face to face delivery. Well, I think that there life are resources on offered. that site for teachers to use in classrooms and parents to use in the home okay. uh, for education around those issues. Okay, um, so the funding that had been provided previously to life education was that from National Ice Action Strategy funding? It wasn't Ice Action Strategy funding. No, yep. um, I, I think actually I'm. I think we'll take that on notice to identify the specific source. Yeah, that would be good. Let you know. Thank you. Um, and can you tell me why the decision was made to discontinue the funding to life education? Uh, we need to take that on notice, Senator. Okay. Right. Uh, but you you will appreciate there are number that there's lots of competing priorities in the mm. in the drug and alcohol space. Yeah, no, I understand. And, um, I think they were feeling quite a, a unique sort of um, <coughs> need, so I'll just be interested to hear some of the thoughts around the department in the decision-making process when the decision was made to no longer fund life education for, for these um, sort of early years intervention education um, training modules, for particularly for young children. So um, just to return now to the 